Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to be reviewing the new Cosmos palette from Anastasia. This palette I have not seen in person yet, I have yet to open it, but from what I've seen online it looks incredible. It's got these super beautiful light shimmer shades. It has some neutral matte colors that are going to be perfect colors for the crease of the eye and I can't wait to dig into it. In today's video I am going to be doing some swatches, I'm going to be telling you everything that crosses my mind and I'm going to be doing two looks with this new Anastasia Cosmos palette. So if you're excited don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I thankfully did not have to wait to purchase this palette. When it releases, this palette releases June 6th. They sent it to me in PR, which is amazing because I can now give you this video ahead of the launch to give you my first impressions on it and tell you whether or not it is worth it. You guys know, even though I got the palette in PR, I am still going to be super honest with you and tell you everything that crosses my mind in regards to this palette. Just like I did when they sent over the Rose Metals palette, that was the first ever PR package I got from Anastasia and I was incredibly thankful, but even though the quality of the Rose Metals palette is good. I'm not super into grungy makeup so it wasn't my favorite color story. The Cosmos palette however looks right up my alley so let's see let me show you the PR package they sent my way. This beautiful azul celeste is what I want to call it. It's like a celestial blue shade and then once you open it take a look right there the Cosmos palette right here and then 12 different Anastasia glosses, which I absolutely love the formula of the Anastasia glosses. In fact, I have a few of the shades that are in here, and so I already know that I love that formula. Let's get into the palette though. Let me get it out of here. I've been resisting the urge to open it, so let's go. Ooh, okay. Yes, I love that the shimmery shades look super sparkly. Not all of them, there's a couple of them that don't have as much sparkle as some others. The ones that pique my attention the most immediately shimmer-wise are Quasar, Supernova, and Super Cluster. I wish Orion had more sparkle in it, we'll see once we swatch it, but from the pan, the other ones look a bit more sparkly. Quasar and Supernova look not only sparkly, but they also look like they are dual chrome shades. So let me give you guys a closer look at this palette. I'm gonna lower the light a bit so you can see things a bit more true to color. So here's the outside of the Cosmos palette. And then once you open it, here are the shades. I also really, really love the variety of matte shades that are in this palette, in particular the lighter ones right here. I love shades like Eclipse, that's a great color for the crease of the eye. Space Dust looks like the most amazing transition color. And then these colors right here are going to be amazing to darken up your looks. Lights back up. The two previous Anastasia palettes that have come out in this exact size and format have retailed for $55. So I'm expecting this Cosmos palette to be that same price. I'm expecting this to be $55. Like I said, it is coming out June 6th. And if you're interested in looking at it a bit further, I am leaving you the link to the Anastasia website down below in the description box. In case you're interested in checking it out or if you're watching this video on June 6th or after, it is now available to be purchased. So please check the links down there. It's so pretty, I almost don't wanna touch it, but it is time for swatches. <laughs> Here's what the first four shades look like on my fingertips and let's go ahead and swatch them. Here's the color Super Cluster. Whoa, that looks so pretty on camera and in real life actually. Anastasia shades in comparison to other eyeshadow formulas that I often try in videos like Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona or even Odin's Eye is a bit more powdery, but not about powdery because as long as things stay pigmented, I don't really have an issue with that. Let's go ahead and go for the second one. Here is the shade Sun, which is a beautiful metallic gold shade, like a peachy gold shade. And then we have the color Orion, which is that beautiful pink with some golden sparkles in there. I lowered the light a bit more because these are very reflective. <laughs> this is the color I was saying I wish was a bit sparklier and I stand by that <laughs> and then the color mercury comes next which is this really stunning 
pewter shade. Very pigmented and very creamy, by the way, this is a really creamy shade. Here are the next four shades on my fingertips. This black color with some blue and silver sparkles looks like a galaxy. That's actually the name of it, it's called Galaxy. <laughs> um, so let's go for Quasar, I believe is the name of this one, which is a dual chrome gold shade. Then we have the color Galaxy, which is a matte black with lots of black and silver sparkles. And then Space Dust, which is that perfect transition color I was talking about. Also the first shade in row number two. And Comet, which is a warmer, more mid-tone type shade. I feel like Anastasia has a shade similar to this one in almost every palette. I'm not mad at it, I like that shade, but I feel like they do that shade a lot. <laughs> Here come the last four shades. I'm obsessed with this color here. That one is called Eclipse and it is this beautiful, beautiful cool toned shade. I just love colors like this one for the crease of my eye. The last shimmer is called Supernova, which is a pinky um, duochrome color, very sparkly. And then we have Mars, which is a dark warm brown. And last but not least, Dark Matter, which I kept thinking was black, but it is not. It is much better than black. It is a very cool toned, very dark purple shade. So now that every single shade is swatched, take a look right there at what they all look like. I love how sparkly the shimmers are and I love how smooth the mattes seem to be. They're not creamy, they're more like dry, powdery type shades, but I love that when swashed, they blend out very smoothly. That means that when we put them on the eyes, it'll probably look even better. Honestly, so far, I really love this color story, and I feel like it is perfect timing for this palette because these are what the vibes have been for me lately. Um, soft matte colors on the crease with lots of sparkle on the eyelid. <laughs> I zoomed you all the way in, so let's go ahead and create some eye looks. Starting with the shade Space Dust over here on a refer number 15 brush and everything I'm wearing on my face is listed and linked in the description box of this video but if you're curious as to whether or not I'm using eyeshadow primer, I am using an eyeshadow primer today. It is from Rare Beauty and it happens to be my favorite. Space Dust on a refer number 15 and we blended back and forth. This color Space Dust is a perfect transition shade, but it also adds a bit of depth to the eye that I find very flattering on my complexion. And I'm blending it all the way in through the crease. To darken things up a bit, I'm going to go into the shade Comet with a refer number one to add a bit more depth to the outer corner of the eye and also a bit more warmth. So. I first tap that color in place on the outer corner and then I'm going to start blending it up into my crease area. I grabbed a bit more of that same shade just to make things nice and even. I'm very tempted to leave it here but I want to try as many colors as possible today. So I'm going to go into the shade Mars with the same refer number one just to intensify things a bit more right here on the outer third of my eyelid. For the center of the eyelid, I want to go in with the shade Quasar here. This is a refer number two brush and I'm going to start by tapping that shade right over the center of my eyelid, right here. This is a really pretty duochrome shimmer shade, kind of greenish looking and I'm adding it all over the center of my eyelid. And then with a refer number 26, I'm grabbing the shade Supernova and I'm adding it to the inner corner of my eye, blending it into that previous color and up through the edge of my crease here. For the under eye of the first look, I'm going back with the shade Mars on a refer number three, and I'm going to back and forth, add it in between my lower lash line, around halfway in, and with a refer number 13 and the transition color, I'm going to smoke that out and finish it up, just back and forth down here. For my waterline, I went with this Charlotte Tilbury Double Ended Eyeliner and I used the more flesh toned shade to brighten up things in there. And so this right here is my first look with the new Cosmos palette. 
which I am absolutely loving. I did leave the best for last because the shades that I am dying to use the most are the cool tone shades. And so those are the ones that I'm going to put over here on this eye. Once again, starting with my refer number 15 brush and the Space Dust eyeshadow shade because that is the perfect transition. And I'm going to use it all throughout the crease of my eye. Once again, <laughs> adding a bit more to the outer corner of the eye and building it up through the crease, just back and forth, very light pressure. And now to deepen it up with the refer number one, I'm grabbing the shade Eclipse, which I've been dying to use. Look at how pigmented that one is. This reminds me a lot of a Pat McGrath shade I love. And I'm going to tap Eclipse right here on the outer third of my eyelid. Just stamp it, stamp it, stamp it in place. And then we are going to slowly work it into the crease, just back and forth. Definitely got some fallout with that one, but I think I might have grabbed too much. I was very excited to use it. <laughs> so just back and forth, diffusing that shade into my crease color around halfway in. I don't want the fallout to get worse. So I'm going to clean it now. And I'll just reapply concealer there in a second. Back with my refer number 15, because I had a bit too much of this color on the number one. I'm just blurring out my edges and adding that color back to the outer third of my eyelid with the refer number one. Now that that's blended with the refer number one as well, I'm going to use the shade Dark Matter to deepen things up even more. This shade almost looks black in the pan. It's super, super dark and intense. And it has the same color and undertone as the one that I had previous. So it's perfect to combine both of these shades together. I'm not sure why the patchiness, but I definitely see some patchiness right on the outer corner. For the center of my eyelid, I'm in between the shade Sun and the shade Orion here. I think I want to do Sun. So I'm going to stamp Sun right here in the center of the eyelid. Just packing it where I want it. Right there. And then one shade I'm very excited to use is the shade Super Cluster. And I'm going to grab it with a refer number 28. Adding it to the inner third of my eyelid and once again through the crease here inner corner and blending it into the other shimmer so take a look right there at the top of the second look i'm loving it before i move on to the under eye i'm just fixing my concealer here that looks so pretty i love it and the patchiness i'm not gonna say it fully went away i still see a little bit of a lighter color right there but you can barely see it. So it's not clear to me whether that was my application, whether that was the eyeshadow formula, or whether that was the eyeshadow primer that might have been not blended right. But overall, it looks good, so I'm happy. Let me move on to the under eye area. I have the shade Dark Matter on this refer number 26, which is the darkest matte shade in the palette. And I'm going to blend it right under my eye, a third of the way in right here. And then with a refer number 13 and the color Space Dust, which is the transition shade, I'm going to fully smoke it out, just back and forth. I use the same cream eyeliner in the waterline of this eye, and to finish up this look, I'm just bringing the inner corner color underneath a bit. And so before any mascara or lashes, take a look right here at the finished second look. Loving it, very nice and smoky, really beautiful. It's a nice cool tone shade. I decided to add the color sun to the middle to just add a bit of contrast with a little bit of warmth and I think that was a great idea. Also really loving the first look I created with this palette. So let me go ahead and put on some mascara, maybe some lashes and I'll show you the final results. I'm back, both looks are completed and I applied mascara but also I put on some natural looking lashes. These are from Ardell in the style Gains and so here's what they look like. Let me show you finished look number one right here. Love the way this turned out. It's nice and soft, a bit smoky and I'm obsessed with the sparkles. The dual chrome in the center is everything. And then look number two, nice and smoky, a bit of warmth right through the center with that shade Sun 
in there but then a super dark plum smoky situation going on on the outside and a beautiful light blue inner corner totally here for it on my lips i have an anastasia lip liner this is the anastasia lip liner in the shade mocha it's a bit of a warmer type lip liner i just love how beautiful and pigmented and precise these are um, when I sharpen them, they get the finest little point to them and I can get so much precision on my lips. I love them. So Mocha lip liner on the lips and I'm going to of course put on an Anastasia lip gloss from my vault right here. This is called Toffee Rose and it's a new shade. I did not have this one from before. So let's see. Oh yeah. I love it. It looks super glossy. This is not a thin, balmy type of gloss. You definitely feel it on, but it's not sticky, so it gets points for that. <laughs> Anyways, both eye looks are completed, and I'm obsessed with the way that both of these came out. This Anastasia formula is consistent to the formula in the Metal Rose palette. It's consistent with the formula from the Primrose palette and also with the formula from the Novo palette. I absolutely love the formulas in all of these, so same thing. The formula is great. Everything blended out beautifully. Everything has a lot of pigmentation to it. A bit more powdery than some other shadows that I'm used to but even that darker shade I only had a bit of fallout with it the fallout wasn't a huge problem for me when it came to doing my eyes today so long story short I love the palette the color story is right up my alley this is exactly the type of color stories that I have been into lately so personally highly 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 recommended I will do a five looks one palette with this one so I will be playing with every single shade that comes in this palette I played with the majority of them today. I played with nine shades out of 12 today. There are three that I still have to play with, but I can't wait to continue to use this palette and to create more looks with it. It's been like four hours since I filmed this video. I finished editing everything that you just saw and I realized I didn't even put this new palette side to side with any of the previous ones in case that is helpful for anyone to compare the shades. First of all, I want to say that the Cosmos palette is already different enough in the sense that I have a bunch of Anastasia palettes opened in front of me right now. And while Anastasia has done glittery, shimmery shades before, I don't think they've ever done duochrome shades. And there's at least two duochrome shades in this palette, Quasar and Supernova, for sure. Maybe actually Sun is also a duochrome shade. So there's three duochrome shades in this one. None of the other palettes have duochrome shades. But anyways, let's go ahead and put them side by side here. Supernova next to the Primrose palette from Anastasia. Just so that you can kind of see what colors are similar to one another between these two. Here it is next to the Rose Metals palette. With this one, it doesn't really have many similarities at all. I don't think, maybe like two to three shades, but the color stories are very different in my opinion. Cosmos versus Novo palette, also pretty different color stories. I absolutely love the Novo palette as well, by the way. This one is incredible in my opinion. And then I was thinking one that had a maybe similar-ish type color story, and I remembered the Amrizi palette because it also has a pop of blue, but looking at it side by side, maybe not as similar as I thought. Um, so take a look right here, the Amrizi palette versus the Cosmos palette. I hope that was helpful. Back to the video. <laughs> Let me know down below which look was your favorite. Are you more into look number one or look number two? If you're interested in this palette, it comes out June 6th. Check it out in the links in the description box. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you back in the next one. <laughs> Bye.